standing here with Captain Bud Robinson, who has many, many years of experience on the Great Lakes as a ship's master. And in fact, his grandfather, great-grandfather rather, was the light keeper at the time of the Great Lakes storm of 1913. And Bud and I are holding together his rendition of the Edmund Fitzgerald. Of course, it was not involved in the Great Lakes storm of 1913, but it was a good example of how these maritime tragedies can continue through the ages. What I'm interested in knowing from Bud is how he can manage to convey these kinds of images with ships in distress in such fierce weather conditions. Bud, how do you do that? Well, actually, Paul, uh, this painting here was done from memory. I was on a ship, we were westbound on Lake Superior uh, that same day and evening, and uh, she was downbound, we were upbound, and uh, we heard later on that night that she was believed to have sank, and nobody knew exactly where at the time, probably, you know, 15, 20 miles off uh, Whitefish Point, and it wasn't really confirmed until about 6, six o'clock in the morning that she actually had gone down, and, and uh, what more can I say? Wow. And what, it's, what, it's still a mystery is how she... And I'll bet it has a tremendous emotional impact on your own mind and your own memory because you were out there at the same time in the same storm. Well, it sure does, Paul, because my wife, Jeanette, uh, she had heard on the news that the ship sank in Lake Superior, and she knew we were up there that same night, so it would give her a little concern, too. Right? It would give everybody a yeah. hell of a concern. And back in those days, we had no cell phones. We couldn't really, you know, call home and reassure people that we're okay. That you're okay, sure. Yeah. One of the biggest impacts that happened in the Great Lakes storm of 1913 and in other storms where tragedy has occurred is the impact left behind on families. And one of the things we've tried to illustrate during our commemorations is not just the facts about what happened and which ships went down and which ships were thrown up on shore, but what happened in terms of the impact on people and their families, the widows, the sons, the daughters, and those left behind. In fact, if you get a chance to drop in at the new display at the Jordan County Museum on North Street, you're going to leave there with a tear in your eye after you see what happened in terms of the impact on people. Keep in touch by watching our website at 1913storm.ca and follow us on Facebook.